Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We can't not play as Blue Baby this time, even though it scares the crap out of me. Um, we did very well as Samson last time, let's hope we can emulate that with Blue Baby this time. And we did unlock It Lives! Seed! M-G-E-S-V-M-7-H. M-G-E-S-V-M-7-H. Let's do this! Blue Baby starting stats! Speed, range, shot speed, and damage are acceptable. Tears and everything else. Uh, a little bit low. And of course we start with the poop, which, wow. We also just got a nickel for no reason, but we start with the poop, which is not good, but Ipecac, holy crap. We only recently unlocked this. Seems pretty much the same. To be honest with you, oh man, it doesn't fly over enemies anymore. It just kind of hits them right in the face. That's something that could end up being a little bit problematic, but uh, Ipecac is an item that can win a run by itself, basically. I'm happy to have gotten it so quickly. Hopefully we'll be able to stack up damage and, and turn this into a rare, um, but beloved Blue Baby win. Those don't happen all that often, and usually I expected to wait a long time in order to experience one in the flesh myself. Hey, there's our secret room. That's, of course, the other obvious benefit of Ipecac. Start using these pills. Bombs are key. Not a big deal here. Pheromones. Not a big deal here. Amnesia. Annoying. 48 hour energy. Largely irrelevant. Alright. Well, that secret room was not amazing. We can live with it though. We were going to our boss room up here anyway, so it's not like amnesia really matters all that much. Gotta be careful with Ipecac, obviously. Second secret room? Really? Alright, let's fight our boss. I'll, I'll get that. Oh, okay. Gotta be careful here, because if Dingle rushes me down, I'm gonna have to get the F out of the way. But I don't think Dingle's gonna have a chance. Yeah, that was really easy. Oh, good. More coins. Well, let's start just by breaking all this poop, which is actually really easy to do with Ipecac, apparently. Almost walk down to the next floor without picking that up. That would have been not a disaster, but probably not ideal. Pretty fly. Well, that's, it's all worth it now. Let's blow this up. Um, pheromones and... Bad trip. Wow. Is this other one? Pheromones? Uh, we'll stay with bombs or key just in case. But yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a pretty bad haul for our first floor. Really just would have been happy with some HP, but... Can't always get what you want. That's alright. We've got Ipecac. If you gave me the option to trade one HP for Ipecac at this point in, my, in the game, I would have said yes in a heartbeat. No question about it, so... Uh, I can't really complain about where we're at right now. Although I will regardless. Trying to find the second secret room. I refuse to believe that there isn't one on this floor. But now I believe. Because I think we checked everywhere. That's my guess, anyway. There's our secret room. Could it be adjacent to our secret room? I think all of those would have worked. Alright, well, we'll be heading down to the next floor. Interesting situation we find ourselves in right off the bat here. Could be better, could be worse. Ipecac is another item that, you know, if used properly and we don't get totally screwed by our boss drops like we kind of did right there. Um, I think it's absolutely conceivable that we could find ourselves going to that boss rush mode again. Sorry for the spoilers, but, you know, it was in the last episode. Not everybody watches every episode, of course, but at the same time, you gotta understand that that's gonna happen sometimes. We're gonna probably go into our arcade and blow everything up. Get enough money to maybe go to the shop. I wouldn't hold out a lot of hope for me to get to the, uh... Well, first off, I wouldn't hold out a lot of hope for me to get to that boss rush mode. It's just, a, I'm throwing stuff out there, I'm spitballing. It might be possible, it might not. We might not even win. But, uh... Definitely don't expect me to be doing much, uh... Much gambling on blood banks or anything like that. That's just largely out of the question. Extra key is lovely. I also may not blow up our poop that much, because it just raises the risk that I end up hurting myself. For basically no reason. Oh, nice. I should be a little bit more diligent about this and, and check uh, every kind of vertex if we can. It looks like the secret room is a little bit less forgiving with where the with where it actually is. That was a bad play on my part. Forgot that enemies get up in your grill pretty quickly. The bean. This is much better. 
Now it's not, I think we discovered this on stream, but it's not a timed charge. It's still a one room charge. But at least this gives us an easy way to deal with enemies that uh, get close to us. And the charger, catalytic converter. Um, I don't know if it's catalytic, but anyway. Uh, I don't know if this works for us as Blue Baby. Normally it gives you the opportunity to convert two spirit hearts into a red heart. Container, I should say. Oh my god. I don't know if that works for us in this run though. Uh, as Blue Baby. Normally the way it worked in vanilla is that you just couldn't use it. Uh, or you just couldn't get red hearts. Let's see if it works this way here. Yeah, we got spirit hearts instead, so you know what? That's what I'm gonna stick with. I'm actually super stoked to be fighting Krampus. Because if we can get Krampus's head... I mean, Lump of Coal might be fine as well, but if we can get Krampus' head, uh, that would be another really easy way to deal a lot of damage to enemies around us. That is Krampus' head. Alright, so I'm, I'm pleased with this now. Let's head down to the next floor, and I'm starting to believe in the... Did we go to our... Yeah, our item room gave us um, the bean, which we used once. But anyway, I'm starting to get really into the idea that we could boss rush this here. Try not to blow yourself up if possible. Now... The danger, I think, with getting too attached to the idea of boss rushing is that it could take away from my diligence and result in me just doing worse on the run in general. Which is something I'm going to try to avoid. I think, you know, being conscious of it is kind of the first line of defense. So there's Krampus' head, in case you haven't seen it in a video yet. It is a four-way brimstone shot that works once every three rooms if, at maximum. Oh, at minimum, I guess I should say. No, at maximum. Um... Come on, don't make me deal with this fly. Deal with this fly, murder the, uh, or get the other one freed as well. It's alright, I, I expect that it's, there's gonna be some learning going on here. So I'm probably gonna be saving Mon or Krampus' head as much as I possibly can. It actually seems like Ipecac exploding is like, oh that's so good. It's like a benefit and a curse. Um, when it explodes on enemies that are close to you. You could accidentally hurt yourself with it, but also it seems like it makes it easier to deal with like those spider type enemies. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Pin. Well, there's one way to deal with that. Pentagram seems like it's gonna be pretty sweet here. No deal with the devil. That I can see. Might be making a mistake there, it's happened before. But uh, yeah, pentagram for extra damage, which I assume works here. And additionally, that extra spirit heart just randomly, that's good. Oh, nice. I'm going to look out for our item room. And Nun's Habit plus uh, Krampus' head means we should be able to use this very often. Especially if we can get like 9 volt as well. Or triple A battery, etc, etc. Anything that augments charge, obviously. Ooh, this could work. Decent. Decent. Pretty good. Two keys we'll get on the way back. We don't need them right now. And I'll admit, you know, the trademark Northern Lion Luck is starting to rear its ugly head again, isn't it? Crystal Ball. So Crystal Ball is so good, right? But I can't not go with Head of Krampus on this super offensive run. As much as I would love to go with Crystal Ball, plus Nun's Habit, which is so much, you know... Uh, apologies for my chair being super squeaky here, but it's so much, uh... Like, defensive potency for us. There's no way I can say no to this Ipecac Krampus' Head Nun's Habit combo we got going on, which is so sweet. You know what, we probably got plenty of time here on this floor. We got our second secret room. We picked up Monkey's Paw, which I'll just admit, I don't really know what it does. But it's a trinket, and we don't have um, anything else to do with our trinket slot right now, so why don't we take it? Monkey's Paw could be bad as well. You know what? Let's bounce this baby out. I think it'll work. Bad trip, not super stoked about. There we go. Alright, we did it all for one penny. And a bomb. Probably not worth it. Should be blowing up all those mushrooms, but pills have been shitty so far. So no thank you, sir. A little bit ahead of the clock still. We're on the catacombs. I think these small rooms are really where we're going to want to use uh, Krampus' head. This one might be an exception. We've got momentum on our shots, so we can factor that in a little bit. I don't know if we have height on them anymore, though. Come on. Oh my god, there we go. Uh, that is a pill that I don't necessarily want. I think we might just stay away from pills. Like, we got a decent thing going here. I don't think we need Flatworm. We also can't get there with... I mean, we could probably do some cheesy... Oh, that was really bad. Some cheesy um, Ipecac shooting and maybe make it happen, but I sort of doubt it. I don't know if it'd be worth the time anyway. Pheromones. Lovely. Amnesia. Lovely. 
Again, we'll blow all this up just in case we get something of great value. Free golden key is pretty solid, as well as the other keys that went along with it. And you can never accuse me of uh, not caring about entertainment value. Getting rid of the crystal ball to take Krampus' head. I do want brownie points for that. Sad bombs. I wonder if sad bombs, they usually take on your tier effects. Uh, apparently they don't carry over to Ipecac here. Uh, sometimes the all explosions get the same properties, but this must just be bombs only, which is fine. But we'll try to put a bomb down and see how that affects things. I think I'm going to buy the ladder. Why not? Might as well get the spirit heart as well. Um, let's put a bomb down and see if it shoots out poison bombs. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so we'll be very careful about that in the future. But that's uh, that's certainly some interesting synergy you got going on there, Bob. Now, uh, I don't expect too much trouble from these bosses. We've already been to item room and shop, so once we beat the hollow... There you go. Um, oh, we got an angel room and magic scab is pretty good. The luck upgrade might be very helpful. Oh my god! Three spirit arts couldn't have asked for more. Alrighty. Down to the next floor then, and we are making crazy good time. Now all I want is the ability to fly. I'm going to use bombs or key right off the bat, because uh, we had a huge surplus of bombs, and we would rather have a huge surplus of keys given the items that we have at our disposal. Be very careful with this room. Yeah. Use the ladder to walk over. I think it was a worthwhile purchase. We haven't had many money problems. It didn't really work as well as I planned it. I really like that Ipecac bounces off like enemies' faces now. That it, it has the potential to be like Bob's brain dangerous. But uh, it also helps it helps make it easy for flies to get killed. Which is really the big problem. Dead bird is another interesting choice for us here. Um, anything that doesn't do explosive damage is pretty sweet in my eyes. <laughs> I, I keep getting, like, frozen for a minute here. I hope that's not, like, a keyboard glitch finally coming back to bite me in the ass. Look, the Devil card's great. So is 48-hour energy. I would hate to be finally getting the keyboard glitch when I thought I was immune. Yeah, that was terrible damage on my part. And we, we have to realize we can't be super cocky with our, um... with our run right now. It's looking so good, but it could go sour. We, don't, we still don't have a way to generate our own HP, which is always a sore spot as Blue Baby. But we do have incredible offensive potential. But the Spirit Hearts won't flow forever. Seemed like a good use of uh, Krampus' head there. So, this allows us to hold two pills? Is that what, um... Yeah, it allows us to hold two pills. One of them is Pretty Fly. They're both Pretty Fly? You're gonna give me a full suite of Orbitals for free? We basically just bought a Halo of Flies. That's fucking sweet. I'm not even going to mince my words there. We've been to item room and shop again. So I'm not going to... Um, I know that people are going to be mad about this, but the reason I'm not being super diligent about blowing everything up and making sure I find all of my... Of course, after we get a full suite, it's going to give me a cube of meat. But anyway, um, the reason I'm not being super diligent about that stuff is because I want to get through the boss rush stuff on this playthrough, and I think we absolutely have the potential with which to do so. So I'm glad I have some bombs left, by the way, because I think war is going to be way effing fast. Oh, the sad bombs, though. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that went okay. Our bombs are really powerful. Ball of bandages might be bigger than your average familiar. That might help us out here. And we're on we're on mom already. Like, well, not, we're not on mom, but we're on the mom floor. Look, it's probably worth it. Can you blame me, though? The boss rush strats are real here. Whoa, skulls can sometimes give you black hearts? I might have known that at one point, but uh, I definitely am paying attention now. Telepills. I won't mind if that takes us a little closer to somewhere. Sp Whoa! What? I didn't know you can get over here. There's like specific ghost versions, I guess. We found our secret room. I didn't mean to see you there. That's my mistake. I apologize. <laughs> Bob's brain... It's cute how much you care, but at the same time, no sir. Where is that secret room? Oh, it's right next to Bob's brain. Okay. Yeah, we're not... There is a penny back there. I should probably go get that. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to be sweating that Bob's brain pickup. I think that's just... Or maybe we should sweat it, because I'm going to... If I'm shooting, 
why not have like an extra Ipecac bomb, right? Yeah, in hindsight, that actually seems like kind of a dumb play to not pick it up. Because we're going to be standing far away from enemies anyway. If this gets me killed, I'm going to be so mad, but... For now, I, I don't see how it could, really. Well, I wish this room was better. I... <laughs> what the fuck? That's why it's bad. Bob's brain has the same effect as a bomb, which means that it's going to explode poison bombs all around it. This is going to be pinned. Well, we changed direction midair. All right, so that's that's good, but also horrifying. For what are I assume obvious reasons. On big rooms, it seems a little bit less bad, although still scary as hell. I probably should have thought this one out a little further. That's okay. I still think we've got a great thing going here. And this might really help us out if we get to that boss rush mode, which looks exceptionally likely. Come on now. Come on now. There we go, finally. And we've got HP, so it's not like we're in a truly dire position or anything. Unicorn stump? No, that's the straight up horn. Uh, so, I mean, that seems so good, right? But I, I'm gonna stick with Head of Krampus, because Head of Krampus is a little bit more fun. Invincibility, though, no question about it. That's probably the right call for us. Well, thank you, Bob's Brain, for helping us find this second secret room. I could actually really use that black card. And here's our mom. Ooh. Here's our mom fight. This room's kind of tiny. That scares me. Oh, I got hit by the wall already. Well, I'm glad I had a small period of invincibility there. We did like 99% damage to mom. Let's go to our bo uh, boss rush mode. So let's see what we got here. We got quad shot. We got flaming tears. We've got what I assume is stigmata or uh, blood of the martyr, which is damage. But I gotta take quad shot here. How could I not? How could you not take quad shot with Ipecac? Um. Oh, blighted ovum still alive. Okay. So this is gonna be pretty dangerous, I think. And I think it's gonna be a little bit less uh, automatic than our last uh, boss rush mode. And also, there's the potential for that to happen, but hey, thanks for the spirit arts, I guess. And if we beat it, we never have to do it again as Blue Baby. As Blue Baby being the keywords there. Fuck. <laughs> well, Nun's Habit means we can use uh, Krampus's head more often. And our damage output is going to be out of control. Of course, our rate of fire is also shit. But maybe that's okay. Yep, dodge right into that. Starting to kind of wish I'd gone through with the unicorn horn. Yep. This is okay. We'll try to employ the same formula that we used on the last boss rush, which is... You know... Oh, that's such bad damage. Which is just don't talk to them. Stay as far away as possible. I unlocked the cellar. I don't know why that happens, but sure. Killed all the all the bosses on the basement, maybe? That seems likely, actually. That might be like the first time. I've, I can't be like the first time I've ever fought Blighted Ovum or Gemini. Look at these bombs. They travel so far. I, look, I think we're still going to beat the boss rush mode. I'm just skeptical about my chances after that. Where's Chubb at? Oh my god. Oh, there he is. That went pretty well. Like, I, eh, I don't know. I think we should have a good chance against Mom's Heart. Our damage output is just so out of control. Oh, it's Gertie. Okay. This should be it then. Yeah. That was easy enough. Whoa! Alright, Gish has its own bombs. I forgot about that. And Bob's brain is... Still not a super negative. I know it sounds ridiculous for me to say that right now. But if it hits the enemies, it does so well. It's hard to stay mad at it. Even if it does hit me in the process. Who are we fighting now? Let me pick up that spirit heart, please. 
What we gotta do is really like get the hell out of dodge as soon as those bombs hit. Thank you, dead bird. Wow, I didn't expect that to be as strong as it was. I'm saving uh, Krampus' head for enemies that are a little bit tougher for me to get with the Ipecac shots. Horseman might be an example of that. Mask of Infamy? Not so much. Kind of the opposite. But we do have uh, Nun Sabbath, so I can understand the... I can understand wanting to use it right now, because we might miss out on some opportunities by not using it. Horseman 1. Horseman 2. Starting to get used to these dodges. That's something I'll probably regret saying soon. Oh my god, dead bird. Thank you, please. Um, did we get it? I think we got it. This is the last wave. Pony and uh, Fallen. No, you don't want to be over here. I promise you that. Alright, last one. Whew. We unlocked uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend. And is that... That's rubber cement. I don't know what that does yet. Bounce... Oh, no. Bouncing tears? No, 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 no. You don't understand. Uh, you don't understand. We can't take that. I'd like to call it off, please. At least we did this. I was going to say, you want me to go back out there? Let's see what we've got in our deal with the Devil Room. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Don't be an idiot. Should take the, uh, the black hearts at least. I was going to say, what if we go back into our boss trap room? Is there another set of items in there? I'm going to doubt it. All right, well, rubber cement Ipecac Bob's brain scares the shit out of me. That's what's fun about it. I think Bob's brain, by the way, if you're like, why is Bob's brain shooting a bunch of, uh, like, poison bullets? It's because we have, um, oh my god. Uh, it's because we have, uh, sad bombs. Sad bombs causes our bombs to have the same effects as our tears. Oh, he's up there. I couldn't see him behind the map. Um, causes our bombs to have the same effects as our tears. And our tears, as you may know, explode in uh, an area of effect with Ipecac shots that now bounce. Which seems bad and probably is bad for us. But is also some of the funniest synergy I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm loving these runs lately that have been so ridiculous. Mama Goity. Oh, we're having... We had some frame rate issues there for a second. Oh my god! The Ipecac shot's bouncing off the sides! Damage plus range up. I'm happy? Sure, blood clot. Sign me up. Down to the next floor, and actually that floor went so well that I'm thinking we could realistically get the shoal kill here. Wow, that, that room seems worth it. Seems like that room totally wouldn't get me killed. Well, that might do it, actually. Mo one pin? Alright, not so bad. Finally found a use for Krampus' head. It's been a little while since I'd used it. We have to be extremely cautious. Yeah, for that exact reason. <laughs> that wasn't even Bob's brain, actually. Credit where credit is due. What? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do about this? I guess make sure my, my shots never hit the walls. Thank you. And immediately I went from being like, I think we got a good chance to beat Satan, to holy shit, you know, wall of death. My own wall of death. I don't feel great about that. It's my own fault. That being said, when we hit... At least we're not doing shit damage. If we were doing shit damage, we would be a hundred times dead. But instead, we're doing very good damage. So it's conceivable that we could... At this point, I'm thinking Mom's Heart is maybe the more conceivable outcome for us, but... There's still a, a theoretical chance. What do you do? <laughs> There's still a theoretical chance that we could get through Satan. I would like to at least beat Mom's Heart, which is now looking a little bit more unlikely. I don't know how Bad Trip works for us with Mom's Heart. That went relatively well. Okay, yeah. Um, solid. We did it. We got, we got the Cathedral. Okay, this is the first time we're going to see the Cathedral on camera. I don't hold out any hope at all for us actually being able to win this, by the way. But, at least we got here. And maybe, if we lose one HP... 
Uh, if we lose one HP, maybe Bad Trip will give us three. <laughs> right, never try to bounce your shots off the wall. I'm slowly learning, hopefully. Pheromones. Oh, we can hold two pills now, but Bad Trip is our saving grace. Oh, what what compelled me to stay there? Well, we used full health. It did not give us uh, the the HP that I thought it would. Uh, that might have been the best pheromones play of all time. Let's just be straight about that. Alrighty. Oh, man. I can't justify fighting in there. If it was guaranteed spirit hearts, I'd be on that in a heartbeat. We're dead. All right, it was a fun run, though. I had a really great time with that one. And we got our mom's heart kill with Blue Baby. I didn't mean to restart there. We got the seller, though. Let's see what we got in. Ooh, infamy. Never seen that one before. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.